to South Africa now, a country known worldwide for its breathtaking wildlife. But poaching there too is threatening the country's outst outstanding number of mam mammal species like elephants and lions. Animal parts are being sold for huge profits on the black market, particularly in Asia. VOA's Chris Simpkins reports on a private game park in South Africa where protecting the wildlife from poachers is a top priority. This private South African game park is home to hundreds of mammals. This area, part of the larger Kruger National Park region, is also a hotbed for animal poachers. They kill elephant for their ivory tusk and lions for their bones. The poachers are also targeting rhinos for their horns. There's a dead here. Park ranger C.J. Lombard has seen the devastating impact of rhino poaching. If you find a female that's been hacked apart and, and the calf next to her dead, knowing that that calf has been staying there for weeks with its mom, refusing to leave the mom and uh, dying of, 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 of hunger, of starvation. It, 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 does, it really does make you very, very angry. The South African government says more than a thousand rhinos were killed by poachers in 2013, the highest number on record. Already in January, more than 37 rhinos have been slain. In Asian countries, rhino horn, which is believed to have some medicinal value, can sell for as much as $60,000 per kilo. Lombard and his tracker, Patrick Moyani, guide tourists through the game park. They're also part of frontline efforts to stop poaching within this 11,000 hectare private park. As a member of a team, if I can find the poachers or whatever, then uh, we will just uh, cut them to go on jail. This game park has increased security as part of a number of anti-poaching measures. CJ and Patrick are tracking rhino here at the Thorny Bush Game Reserve in South Africa. One of the initiatives that's being done at this park to stop rhino poaching is to inject poison into each of the rhino's horns, making it unsuitable for human consumption. Another measure used to protect the rhino from extinction includes farming them and harvesting their valuable horns. The horns continue to grow much like hair and nails do. CJ standing by. Lumbar says he favors a South African government proposal to sell some of its stockpile of rhino horns to finance conservation and potentially flood a thriving black market. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work. I think anything is worth trying at this point as long as it doesn't create a new niche uh, to make rich men richer uh, you know, at the cost of, of, of our wildlife. Some argue legalizing the sale of rhino horns will drive up demand. Chief Park Ranger Juan Pinto says more public awareness campaigns are needed to stop animal poaching. For me the biggest issue is it's a belief. It's someone's belief that the rhino horn gives them this benefit and you can't change a belief and belief is stronger than fact. Lombard and Moyani keep an eye out for poaching activity during game viewing excursions. They say until other anti-poaching measures prove successful, they will continue to work with the park's security teams to protect the animals. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, inside the Thorny Bush Game Reserve, South Africa. Now, despite the increase in poaching for parts like tusks, governments are stepping up efforts to stop the illegal activity. China, for example, recently publicly destroyed confiscated tusks to send a message to poachers that there is no market there for such trade.